Hello fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with his uh, next part of his top 50 books. Uh, uh, to recap, I've already done my magazine, uh, treasuries, and pocketbooks. It was my first go around, and then I did recently my top 50-ish uh, indie books. And now I'm going to show my top uh, variants. And then lastly, I'll finish off with Marvel, or DC, and then probably Marvel. Um, so this is just my way of showcasing my collection part of it. And, um, and as I've stated before, it also gives me the benefit of uh, having it in video, the top 50 books in my collection. Well, it'll be about top 250, so if God forbid something happened to my collection, I'd have something to show the insurance people. Um, and you know, as far as variants, this is probably the weakest in my collection, the area of my collection, uh, compared to some of the ballers out there like, uh, oh, uh, Longshanks, um, and, uh, Beauty Comics and Martian Comic Hunter and, uh, Poor Man's Comics and Triple C and, I just pale in consideration, but um, but still, I, I hope you'll find that uh, I've got a few books here that might pique your interest. All right, um, so let's get uh, cracking here, and once again, as far as tagging anybody, I'm so far behind on this thing that if anyone hasn't shown a top 50, please uh, consider yourself tagged. I don't think Captain Strange Life has done a, a top 50, Hans. Um, yeah, I would uh, like to see one from you. Um uh, Tom Ryan, I don't think you've been tagged. If you haven't, uh, uh, I'd like to see a top 50 from you. Um, I don't know, Michael Jocko, uh, you're tagged. I don't think you've done a top 50. Um, boy, it's just hard to remember who hasn't done one. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't done one, please, I'd love to see what you got. So, But let's get going here. Here is Batman. Uh, we're going to start off with DC. This is Batman 682. The Tony Daniel variant with the Joker cover. Beautiful cover there. Uh, Batman Cacophony number three. The Bill Sin Sin Sinkevich uh, cover. Awesome. I love Joker covers. I got a thing for Joker covers. Um, Batman 655. The uh, Andy Kubert 1 in 10. First, I guess, appearance, cameo, whatever you want to call it, of Damian Wayne. Batman 608, the Jim Lee second print variant. And I guess what I like about this one too is if you pair it with this one right here, the Superman 204 Jim Lee sketch RRP. That looks pretty darn, pretty darn good right there, I think, together. That is a pretty, pretty picture. But yeah, uh, the RRP... I think that was limited to like 5,000 copies, something like that. And then, of course, the Jim Lee uh, second print. All right. Um, that next one is, oh, it's 750 of these. 750 of these exist. I was way off on that. Um, and Superman uh, 75, the Platinum. This is limited to 10,000. That may sound like a lot, but back in the day, compared to what uh, the actual 75 <laughs> print run was, 10,000 was a drop in the bucket, and these things were so coveted and sought after. Um, it's got the, uh, the, the silver platinum, uh, or the silver uh, logo there. Uh, one of my all-time favorites. This is probably one of my bigger stealth buys. I found this for 90 cents. Uh, this is Supergirl and the Legion of Superheroes 23, the Adam Hughes variant, 1 in 10 variant, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful Supergirl cover. Uh, Batwoman 28, this is my only steampunk variant. I would love to get all of these, but boy, oh boy, I just, I've got a threshold when it comes to variants, and these books sell well beyond that threshold, so unless I stumble on them accidentally, I just... Or if somebody wants to trade me or something like that, I just have, <laughs> I can't afford them. But um, yeah, this Batwoman 28 Steampunk variant. I think this is one of the lowest, if not the lowest print run of the Steampunks. Uh, Wonder Woman 614, the Alex Gardner uh, variant. I don't know how hot this book is now, but boy, oh boy, this book was hot for a while. Uh, just an absolutely gorgeous uh, cover right here. Um, 
and there's been some s suggestive things when it comes to where that shield is uh is and that sort of a thing but um regardless i absolutely love this cover it's a beautiful book wonder woman 614 adventure comics 515 another book i love this is a bermejo uh cover this is part of the dc 75th um uh set I own all but two of them, I believe. I, I'm missing the Wonder Woman and the Justice League. Wonder Woman 600 and Justice League 50, I believe it is. Those two are hard, hard, hard books to find. But, man, oh, man, if anybody's got one of those two and would love to do a trade or whatnot, please hit me up. But love this book right here. Um, absolutely gorgeous Apocalypse cover. This is an homage to a Legion of Superheroes book. I think it's 185. No. I'm probably wrong on that issue number, but <clears throat> um, Green Lantern number nine, the Ethan Van Scriver um, variant with the uh, the uh, Batman Green Lantern. I'm looking for a Forever Evil number four variant. Um, if anybody's got one of those and like to do a trade or whatnot, hit me up. It's a beautiful book. I know this one's cooled down quite a bit. It's still one of my favorites. Um, speaking of another Green Lantern. Here is 55, the Lobo with the Green Lantern core, uh, all the different Green Lantern rings on them. <laughs> great cover, absolutely great cover. I think this homage is uh, Green Lantern 50 out of the previous run. Uh, Salvation Run 7, this is the Neil Adams. This thing checks all my boxes. It's got Neil Adams check, Joker cover check, Bloody Hands, <laughs> that's awesome. And it's a variant, so check, 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 check. And uh, it's Salvation Run 7, this last issue out of the miniseries. Uh, man, I love Joker covers. <clears throat> um, Legacies, number 8. Got this in a trade with Yanni Gogolak, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure where you're at these days, Yanni, or if you're even watching. But if you are, uh, how are you doing? Consider yourself tagged. <laughs> but um, yeah, this uh, another Apocalypse cover here with the infamous uh, skirt and uh, uh, where that table leg is pointing out. At. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so let's move on to some Marvel. This next ones i'm kind of cheating a little bit here this is a set that i'm going to use as uh as one altogether. this is the spider-man 50 years through the decades this is um 692 the variants and if you can get the set it's probably a hundred 125 dollars um this is the um the uh first decade second decade and this is the money book this book here can go for 30 40 50 bucks this is with Gwen Stacy. Um, then the uh, Symbiote years. <clears throat> um, the next years here. And then there's one more. So there's there's five books to the set. It's tough to find a five book set even on eBay. But uh, make sure if you do find a set that it does have this one, the red one. The red one is the one you want. Okay. All right. Okay, here is my only Venomized um, cover. It's another set I would love to put together, but there's no way I could afford them. This is um, Superior Spider-Man, number 25. I know Longshanks finds these for a dollar or two. I don't know how he can do that, but uh, man, that guy is just a master of finding stealth buys. Um, absolutely. This is a fun cover, though. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 651, the Tron variant. I do own the full Tron set. Um, when it comes to variants, I'm a, I like to complete sets. I like sets of variants. I don't know, that kind of just piques my interest for some reason. But this is the most coveted of the Tron variants. Uh, Spider-Man 651. I believe this is the first stealth armor suit too. Stealth suit. And um, Amazing Spider-Man oh, 654, second print variant. This book is a pricey book now. Um, great cover. Love this cover. All right. And here is Ultimate Fallout number four, the Marco Djerovic. I cannot pronounce that name. But uh, the one in 25 variant. This book is still hot, but... 
it just goes to show you these things are popping up like tic tacs in uh in five below packs about three years ago no archangel was finding them left and right um so uh, i don't believe any print runs on anything i don't know um this is the captain america number one this is the hildebrandt um variant absolutely love this cover <laughs> oh i love this cover him punching out Hitler right there it's a great great cover i don't remember what volume this is it's a one in 50 also um avengers assemble this is a is this del Alto or hayek oh, i can't remember who did this cover but it's a one in 50 um beautiful hulk um book gabriel del Alto, you know del Alto excellent book there um this here is probably my right now it's my favorite thanos cover there's another thanos cover in this set that i would love to own but i have yet to come across it but for now this is my favorite this is the in uh infinity mini series this is part four and this is the one in 75 the generals variant absolutely love this uh this thanos cover um, this is, I got, uh, from a trade with Mike KKN comics. I'm not sure how you're doing, Mike. I hope you're doing well. Uh, consider yourself tagged. <laughs> um, but I did a trade with him and I was very fortunate to get this book here. This is, oh my God, I can never remember the number. I want to say 17. Iron Fist 17, the RRP version. Yeah, but 17. Or it's, a, it's an incentive. That was an hour party, but I guess it's an incentive. Nonetheless, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous book. I know TiVo's got a thing for this book. Tim, I don't know if you're... Yeah, you did a 50, but do another one. You're tagged. <laughs> uh, Uncanny X-Men. Um, this is the Milo Minara um, Battle for the Atom variant. Um, another big fan of Milo Minara, but I'm not a fan of how much his books go for. Uh, at least his variants, so I can't afford many of them, but boy, I'd love to have a few of those. They have some great, great variants by Marlo, Milo Minara. And this is, um, all right, um, Uncanny X-Men. I know Triple C would like this one here. Triple C, I think you did a 50. Consider yourself tagged if you didn't. I don't even know if you watched my stuff. Um, Uncanny X-Men, this is the Pressman variant to 697. Um, I know Meta Rog, this is right up his alley, Roger. I know you did a top 50, but you're tagged if you, if you want to do another one. Um, this is, like I said, the Pressman Gold variant. There were four to the set. I own all four, um, uh, so I own the complete set. This is the most coveted of them all. This was only available in the mail-in. I'm almost positive that they don't, these were not available in the board games. Some of the, the other three, some of them would actually be in the board game or you'd have to mail in a coupon to get it. Um, and they think that only 500 of these exist. So this could be one of the lowest printed X-Men books out there too. So, <clears throat> all right. Um, Wolverine, uh, 102.5. I know Longshanks was looking for one of these. Um, I know I just tagged you, but you're tagged again, Harold. Um, this is the Wizard Mail-In giveaway. I, this is probably one of my more coveted Wolverine books. I don't have any of the big hitters like the J. Scott Campbell one or the, uh, the Bone Claw or um, ones like that. But I'm happy to have this one here. Um, Wolverine Origins number four is this two, excuse me. This is the Canadian uh, flag variant. Um, the regular will show the American flag, but the Canadian is a variant. Um, Undisputed Frost, I got this one in the next book from him. Joe, if you still have any books and if you watch my stuff, you're tagged. Um, and I was also able to get this book from him. Wolverine Origins number 10, the third claw variant. Very coveted uh, book. This is the first appearance of Dokken or Dakin. Um, Gambit Gold. Gambit's gotten hot real quick or for, um, as of lately. But I love these gold books. Um, this is um, Gambit. This is the first. Uh, this is his first mini series. Speaking of gold. There's the Venom Lethal Protector Gold, number one. Um, 
would love to have the errors either the black and especially the white but that's a pipe dream still very happy to have this i think master x just found his i believe zach i don't know if you're watching but you're tagged if you are uh thunderbolts um 110 um this is the uh this is a lenel u francis lenel u believe uh, did this cover and longshanks just showed this in instagram great book fantastic cover fantastic uh the uh mighty avengers number three the m m variant <clears throat> That's a Salvador La Roca. This is Salvador La Roca. Here is the Incredible Hulk 377, third print variant. First appearance of Professor Hulk, I believe, or the Smart Hulk. Um, very coveted. This book has been coveted for years and years. This has been, whenever people would always tell me, oh, multiple additional printings aren't worth anything. This is one of the books I would always point to to show you. Nah, I wouldn't uh, quite say that, but... Uh, I'm very happy to have this. Uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number one. This is the one in 20 or 25 variant. Um, low print run, um, arguably, and uh, still quite coveted. Uh, the Captain Marvel, what is this, number one, I believe. Yep. Adam Hughes, one in 25. Found this for like five bucks at a, at a comic shop. Now it's you'd be, <laughs> I'd love to find a few more of them for five bucks. Uh, Captain Marvel's 14 second or 17, excuse me, second print variant. This is one of the, if not the, Kamala Khan uh, books that people are the most after. Um, so very very happy. I acquired this in a trade, and I can't remember who I got it from. Boy, if you if you know who I, if, 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 please forgive me, but. Uh, let me know in the comments and you're tagged <laughs> all right um moving along to some independents this is my aunt number one rrp limited to three thousand or a thousand copies i believe uh j scott campbell and uh, this is that first original pose. Remember the Spider-Woman pose like this that caused so much um, commotion with Milo Minara? Well, this came out well before then. <laughs> um, so uh, this is my G.I. Joe 33 Graham Cracker um, Michael Turner signed uh, book with a COA. The reason is it's uh, it's Michael Turner and it's uh, it's got a COA with a signature on it. So this will, book will always be one of my top ones. Uh, Michael Turner's top four, uh, probably top three artists for me. And here's the COA right there. Prove that it's his. Um, this is another one simply because of the signature it's in here. Um, now, obviously, you're never going to get a brand new signature from Michael Turner because he's passed on, but just as hard, <laughs> and I don't mean that in a, in a coy way, is trying to acquire an Alan Moore signature. He will not sign comic books. He absolutely refuses to sign comic books. So when I found out that he did this, this is, God, I want to say issue 41 for Supreme where he wrote it, and then he did a uh, set of them for American Entertainment, where he signed them. I was all over that. Um, Alan Moore is just no question to me, my favorite storyteller, just unquestionably. And I uh, was able to acquire that. So there's the COA right there. from It was Wizard, I'm sorry. All right. Um, speaking of J. Scott Campbell, here's the Danger Girl, G.I. Joe, Baroness cover uh, for number three. These next one, three books, I think, I'm just lumping them together. I love Darkwing Duck. I love homages, and I love Batman. So <laughs> these check all those boxes. Here's uh, the annual number one with uh, uh, Killing Joke. And then these I got from, at least one of them I got from Master X. I can't remember if I got both. No, I think I got one. I think I got this one from Master X. Number seven and number eight. Um, so absolutely love these books. Once again, 
Zach, Master X, if you're listening and watching your tag, buddy, let's see a bid. I know you want to put one out. I don't care what it is. Please, we want we need a Master X fix. Uh, Gen 13, couple of uh, books here. Uh, this is um, the variants to number one. This is the um, uh, Victoria's Secret lingerie and the Janet Jackson Rolling Stones cover. I own all of the set of the first um, Gen 13. Uh, I think there were 13 of them to this set. Uh, this is the only Spawn black and white out of that set of homage covers that they did between like 220 and 230 or something like that. I'm, I know I'm close to those numbers, but um, but this is the only one, and this is issue, oh my gosh, can't remember what issue this one is, um, but this is the Dark Knight issue 224 and all of the black and whites even though this is probably the easiest one to get and i got this from i think pgx comic expert i pg one of the the guys out of pittsburgh um i don't think he does videos anymore but if you do and you're watching your tag bud <laughs> um but yeah very happy to have this uh another book i got from kkn um this is the Spawn 265, the Scorpions gold um, uh, blank cover. Spawn does not do blank covers. I think uh, the only other one I've seen is uh, She Spawn showed one, and there was one on maybe, uh, I think, the, the comic guy. What's the, I can't remember his app, Key Comics app or something like that. Um, but it's a year old book, though. It's uh, so this is limited to 666 copies apparently. So happy to have this one. Um, my big spawn book, spawn number one, black and white. You got this from ordering, I think it was 50 copies of issue 65 of spawn. They figure there's about 3,300 of these in existence and very, very coveted by spawn collectors. I know KKN Comics. Not KKN, KMN Comics showed his. He got his from his brother. Um, I know you did a 50. If you want to do another 50, your tag, bud. Um, the Stuff of Legend. This is the Boogeyman edition for Volume 2, limited to 150. I was absolutely shocked. Um, uh, I Clint, Hero Hunter 81, watched my last video, the, um, the indie books, and I was absolutely shocked. Clint, man, oh man, oh man, you are so tagged. <laughs> I don't care if it's video games that you want to show. <laughs> Let's just see a video, a Hero Hunter video. You would get more views and you would know what to do with, bud. Um, let's, you are definitely tagged. All right, um, but this is a beautiful book. I wouldn't know about this book if it wasn't for Hero Hunter. Um, then probably arguably my favorite indie um, variant this could be, and I hate to use the word grail, but this is very coveted um, by indie collectors. DuckTales number one, the, is it 8-bit they call it? 64-bit, uh, I can't remember. Um, but this is San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con uh, exclusive, limited to 500. This is what started these 8-bit, 6-bit, whatever they call them. Um, variants. Uh, this book here is so hard to find. Um, and I was very, very lucky to, to pick this up. I got it through eBay of all places, but very, very happy. All right. And then um, it's an 8 bit. All right. And then we're going to just show some other stuff here. How much time do I've got? I got some time. All right. I don't have a lot of um, foreign stuff, but uh, there's a few here that I think are pretty cool. This is Venom, the, I think, Italian. I believe this is Italian um, variant, the Joe Casada cover. It's silver foil. Um, I own so many. I, there's like five variants or five um, covers to the original one, four printings and a, and, a, and a sketch. I know Master X had the sketch at one point. That's the one I'm missing and would love to have, but I have printings one two and four so i just need printings three but uh, but yeah this is a beautiful cover um spawn number five the euro um this is this reprints 
um, the Angela no, issue number nine. I think it pre prints like nine and ten and eleven or something like that. Um, but this is one of the. This was probably the first Euro that really got popular for spawn collectors and now there's quite a few of them there's this really cool one that like changes color and heat <laughs> with a different temperature but this is a beautiful book nonetheless absolutely love this book um got this book in a trade from comic brains cliffhanger number 12 this book is cooled down quite a bit but it's an absolutely stunning j scott campbell cover absolutely beautiful happy to get this in my collection so comic brains you're tagged <clears throat> all right batman eternal number 19 this is a uh, is it chadwick chad chad chadman oh, oh, um and limited to 666 copies i believe it was um absolutely just love this cover love this cover a lot so very happy to have picked this one up um chad hardwick yep yeah. um and then uh here are a couple of spider-man 300 um variants arguably two of the easier ones to find but still hard to find nonetheless this is the black one is italian and the red one is french i'm kind of debating to go for the set or not there's 14 in the set i own three of them right now so that means i'd have to get 11. the only reason i'm hesitant is uh, that filipino that filipino one boy oh boy would that be impossible to get but they they think only like 20 of them exist <laughs> um but yeah i would love to get that that ash can type size one but yeah all right but uh yeah a couple of and these are beautiful without the 300 on it i don't know this one's really nice this italian one all right um here's some promo inserts maximum carnage number one came with the game the acclaim game this has gotten pricier and pricier with all the venom 2 and carnage talk coming out so and this reprints um part of spider-man unlimited one i believe uh and then this one i know um poor man comics just showed this he on his instagram he picked one up for dirt cheap it's so funny about this book it's the ultimate alliance it's a del auto cover if you're very very patient you can find these for under ten dollars on ebay but if you're just if you just want it now you're gonna pay 75 to 100 bucks for it um maybe even more <laughs> for raw but um this is a color uh error book uh, Sandman number one, the purple error. The regular cover is blue. I do own both. I should have probably pulled out the uh, uh, non-error, but um, but happy to have the purple error. I don't have a FF110 or a uh, uh, Malibu Sun 13 uh, printing error, but this next book here is one that I just find really interesting. Um, this is Avengers 117, beautiful cover, yellow, just a great throwdown between Namor and Cap. But the reason I want to show this book is that I used to, I bought a collection back in like 2012. And one of the books in it had this one in it. And I thought, and you, I hope you can see the difference there. Uh, how this one looks like it's almost faded compared see the cap especially and i that's exactly what i thought it was is that it was faded maybe somebody just left it in the sun too long or something so for the longest time i was just almost thinking of getting rid of it um, trying to trade it whatever the case is and never could do it and then probably about three years after that i was at a store and i, I bought this collection in superior wisconsin then I went to a local store here in Minneapolis, and I was digging through their boxes at a uh, free comic book day, and look at this. I found another one. <laughs> uh, another same error in, in two different places, three or four years separate apart, and what's the odds of that, huh? Um, so uh, this, this is so obviously corrected me into showing that it was a printing error, and uh, very, very happy to have that in my collection. So that isn't going anywhere. All right, um, here's some, we're going to end off with some recall books. Are we doing time-wise? All right, going to have to do this quick. Uh, the first one is Action Comics 869. This is the beer can book. Um, they recalled it in uh, Crow Beer or Beer and changed it to Pop or Soda. And this is limited, they believe, to 1,000 copies. 
I've had a couple of these. Next one here is Elseworlds 80 page giant, only available in the UK. Then they realized what was in this. They had, it was a babysitter story. It was Super Baby, where he crawls into a microwave and gets zapped. <laughs> and they thought, oh, that ain't going to fly too well over here in the States. So they, they pulled it. And a few of these exist. I think they claim about 750, I think, claim, uh, existed this. Um, it was very, very pricey for the longest time, but it has cooled down, but it's still $70, $80 book, maybe even 100 And my last book here is The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I believe this is issue number five. This is the Marvel douche. This is where um, America Best, um, when they printed this, um, Alan Moore did a couple of pages in the back of old, old, old 1800 uh, advertisements, and one of them was the Marvel douche. And when America Best saw that, they said, there's no way that's going to fly. So they <laughs> pulled it, and I, caught, I can't remember what they corrected it to, but uh, it wasn't Marvel Douche. But this is the Marvel Douche, and they uh, they think about 200 to 250 of these exist. So, all right, well, that is my um, uh, favorite top 10 variants, errors, uh, recalls, that sort of thing. So look for my top 10 DC coming up next. Um, Van Cruz signing off.